Pisces and welcome back to your extended. Wow, so we were talking a lot about the heart. So I decided to take uh, the Work Your Light Oracle. So I'm going to pull cards from there as well. If you haven't seen this morning's reading, I suggest that you watch that first. It's going to make a lot more sense tonight because uh, this is the extended. So there's almost like a, well, there's not almost. There's a full reading before this one. So. Uh, if you like these videos, I post twice a day, 9.45 a.m. and p.m. Um, if that interests you, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to all so that you're always notified when the video comes up. And by all means, leave me a like and a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'm also having a gratitude uh, word of the day. So if you want to leave what you're grateful for today, I am doing a draw every month. And uh, that would be your uh, draw for the month of August. Now I'm going to take from the Spellcasters Oracle. Uh, all the cards I use here, it's in the description box. There's affiliate links and some of them are Etsy pages. So um, they're all available for you down there if you're interested in these, okay? The Spellcasters Oracle, I feel, is a deck almost like the chakra showing you where you're going to need help or focus on, okay? So you have beauty here. All right. So some of you is going to have to look at yourselves in the most beautiful way. I never thought of this, but this makes sense. Spirit is saying we do have a lot of negative self-talk, especially with Pisces. Okay. We're not as kind to ourselves as we should be. I did actually think about um, a relationship that I had where um, I really, truly realized that I was an attractive human being. We don't always see ourselves as such. We see the flaws, we see the problems, but we don't see um, what others see. And because we live in a world where people don't yell out what's most attractive about you, um, sometimes it's hard to know if you are or not, or what you feel inside, okay? And it can sometimes take a long time to look in a mirror and see what others see. Um, Spirit is inviting you to actually look in a mirror, okay? And to take a moment to appreciate your physical being on this planet, whoever you might be, and see the beauty within. Um, beauty, I, I do believe, Beauty really does shine from the inside out. In the plastic world that we live in now, uh, you see people who have a hard time finding beauty inside of themselves. I find the most beautiful beings are so authentic and original to themselves that there's not quite anybody, there's, no, there's nobody quite like them, okay? I want you to find those... Um, things in yourself. What makes you the authentic, beautiful being that you are, Pisces? Okay? Find that within yourself. So, I like that. You really do. There's a light shining all around. First of all, there's a lot of green around, so heart space. Okay? And also, there's a lot of, like, yellowish and beautiful, bright energetic light coming. So, um, see through the eyes of spirit as well. Spirit sees you as your beautiful, authentic, energetic self, okay? So, remember not to forget that you are an energetic being having human experience, okay? So, see through those eyes as well. Right. Okay. So, some of you as well may be having a hard time in realizing that this is a closure. Okay? This is kind of like the end of the road for certain things. Um, you've learned a lot and you're at a point in your life where you can just uh, step through things and, and find your own path. Um, again, in this picture, um, 
this this being has shut the door behind her okay um, and it's not all bad because actually you see there's like a bright light behind there so there's some good moments and good things that have happened here it's not all bad but it's time to kind of close the door and start on this new path right here this beautiful new path I like the fact that it is an autumn setting which is something we are going into. So definitely a brand new path for you Pisces, okay? I love the way that in the past it's it's depicted in light, showing not closing the door on crap, but closing the door on valuable things, on everything that you've learned, and not closing the door so that you never see it again, but just starting a new chapter, okay? Because remember, you never lose all the lessons that you've learned. Not if you are really committed to it. Okay, you keep that with you. You carry it with you. Okay. So we're going to take all oh, these also oh special work your light. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Beautiful. Look at that. You have the triangle, which means for me, the three, three of pentacles, the three figures. Um, I like the fact that uh, she is putting her hands in front of her eyes to... Um, it's showing me the, the path you're... you're well, this picture is showing like that dimming the path, like not seeing the full picture. And I really like that. As well, if you look, there's mountains in the back. Okay. And we were talking about ascending mountains. Don't turn around and say, well, I can't do that. Like our nice little pain in the butt page of swords here and make it a reality. Okay. You have everything you need to keep going forward, okay? Now is not the time to dim your light, to change in order to fit in with what the world is doing. It's time for you to go on this brand new adventure right here, okay? And such as the light behind her here, there's a light shining behind her here as well, okay? A lot of synchronicity. I feel in the mirror too, when you're looking in the mirror at yourself, it's also to figure out just how beautiful you are, Pisces, okay? And how authentic to your own self you are. You have to remember to really be authentic to you, okay? The Age of Light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Again, with the beautiful uh, hint of the triangle, okay, for the longest time it was 369, but there's also like the spiral. Um, one day I will talk about the triangle and the spiral together, but not today, okay. I also feel, keepers of the earth, you are not alone, ancient ancestors stand beside you. Now, for most of you right now, they want me to ask you, have you been feeling the ancestors around you, especially the ones from the earth? I know I've had a shoe come in. Um, I feel his energy mostly when I am outdoors. I feel the energy of the ancestors of the trees, of the leaves, of the ground, of everything around me. I feel total peace when I'm out there. And I feel that 
um, there are more and more available and what was the word prevalent every time that I tap into them and they offer up a wonderful sense of peace okay and balance okay so this is about talking about ancestors and it is also talking about your true meaning to being here at this time in this era the age of light we are going in the age of light okay it's very apparent uh, the light is also the one that you have been working in in the last little bit the one that you've just that phase that you've just left is right there okay we're all about the light right now we're all about that vibration so the work you've been doing is fantabulous okay and they just want you to know this as well okay okay so underneath is written M Rama and it says where are you being called to journey to so I'm going to take this as um, a personal question that you need to ask yourself because it's under the deck what journey are you being called to Pisces and are you listening to that call are you are you taking the call? Okay, I should say. And let me show you the bottom of this deck. Oh, so we have healing underneath. So as always, we have to continue the healing process, Pisces. Okay, it's never ending. The healing process is just never ending. We're always going to be healing ourselves of things from the past or things that are happening to us now. It is a forever cycle. Okay. I'm going to take from this one, the Spirit Within. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that came flying out. Six of Pentacles, right. A lot of give and receive. I've been talking about balance again, and uh, yeah, I'm a big believer in this, okay? I'm a big believer in giving to where the need is to be given. Okay, that doesn't mean to give to everybody. That means where your heart, where your intuition leads you to give, then do that. To give to yourself, to give to others. Uh, they want you to follow that, that template, though. That it's about kindness compassion and giving you can pick who you give to that's not a problem but we need to be moving in that direction okay not in the greedy powerful we've tried that for years and years for decades that doesn't work it doesn't work okay so um, the pendulum needs to swing back to the middle some people would say, well, some people have given all. Yeah, I think that their journey here was to show us that working from your heart space is great. But I still find that giving every single thing um, does get you in the history books, absolutely. But is it only just the fact that you're swinging the pendulum back completely to the other side? You have, you know, greed and selflessness. I still believe that there is a place in the middle, that there's a balance in this, okay? That we can help each other. Because you have to think about it this way. The greedy will always take from the people who offer it up for free. Always. They won't say no, okay? But if you help people while still being of able to help um, yourself you're not only showing an example you're also helping people or empower themselves to do better for themselves okay so it's that pendulum thing okay the world card came out this is also showing the closure the ending right here that we were talking about Okay, the new journey, the new phase that you're going into. You have the Seven of Cups showing your choices. 
all the things that are coming in that we were talking about this morning. Your choices with the King of Swords, being a master of the mind, and bringing in all kinds of creativity, okay? You have a lot going for you, and you have a lot coming in that you can choose from Pisces. That's going to be good for you. Mm -hmm. A lot of choices. I like a lot of choices, don't you? I like knowing I have things that I can pick from, choose from, um, freely. It's better to have more than not enough. Okay. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Mm. This card of somebody's winning, somebody's losing. It's coming to the the same conclusion as what I was talking about. We're trying to find something in the middle. Okay? Not, you're right, I'm wrong. You're poor, I'm rich. It's this thing about the five, about the split. Okay? We have the, the, the world, the ten, the closure. This is the middle ground. We want to get to the ten. Also wanted to talk about yesterday when I had two fives in the morning and two fives in the afternoon. All the five of the different suits came out in the same day showing that there is definite completion coming. Okay, two fives are ten. Two fives are ten. You've come through a lot. You've done a lot. And this reminded, they're reminding me now that this actually happened. And it didn't mention it, but when I was editing it, I saw it and thought, oh, i got to mention that as well. So if you haven't seen yesterday's, go ahead and watch it. But you have a lot of things here that you've worked hard on, okay? And it's about balance. Not who's the winner and who's the loser. It's about balance, okay? The Ten of Swords. Another, there's a ten. Okay. Two fives and a ten. Ten of Swords. Oppression. Look at that. Look at that. Fighting. Fighting for closure. Fighting to walk away from all of this. This weight on our back. But there's also like great big arcs of light coming through in the background. Okay. The World card underneath. The card of completion. All of this, the closure, the completion. You've done this. Okay? You've reached your 10. You've put things aside. Now it's time for you to rise. It's time for you not to dim, to fit in. Um, they're saying that you, you, you have, you, we are going into the age of light. Okay? Of love and partnerships. Absolutely. Okay. Another ten. Ten of Pentacles. I love it when they do that. So you have the flip side. Okay. The oppression. The satisfaction. Okay. Completions. So good. This is so good. Queen of Wands, we've been getting her a lot, a lot of inspiration, a lot of new um, energy in the way of creativity, inspiration, passion, um, a lot of light being thrown on the situation, okay? I also like the orange hue of this. This feels like the autumn setting sun. Oh, and there's the ace. The funny part, okay, I'm going to explain this to you. The reason I had a pause, Pisces, is I thought, I've got two tens, but the world card is 21, right? 
Right. So it said two tens, but then I was looking at this age of light and it almost looked like the ace of light. I said, I really need an ace, you guys. So they gave me the ace. Two tens and a one. Twenty-one. Okay. Going away from oppression, going into abundance. Okay. With the ace. Provides you with a replenishing, beautiful, rejuvenating, always given new opportunity. And because it is in the um, suit of cups, again with the heart chakras, it's going to help you meet your obstacles. It's going to help you build your new reality. Okay? You are so powerful right now with the King of Swords, with uh, the Queen of Cups, with these two tens showing just everything you've been through and everything you've completed. Closure, okay? Closure, the end of a one phase, the beginning of a new one, okay? These two tens, completion, and the Ace, that brand new opportunity, okay? Just Keep working at what you need to be doing, Pisces. Spirit believes in you, okay? And I keep saying, I don't think you guys sit enough in your own power to realize just how much you've been through and everything you've gone through. It would be really good if you could sit with those. We sit with negativity so many times and let it roll around in our heads. I would love for you to sit and to really even if you need to write it down or just meditate on just how much you have accomplished in this cycle. In the, your last period of time, you will know when um, things hit you in the right way. You will know it. You'll know when you started or you'll have a possible idea. You'll go, that's when things really started to change. And I want you to think of how much you've grown. Okay, this is what Spirit's saying. They want you to sit with yourself, okay, with your energy here, with your beauty, and see just how far you have come, how you have overcome obstacles, okay, right here. How many obstacles you have overcome that you've ascended the mountain, okay, and that you're going to be able to ascend any new mountain that comes because you have expanded yourself so much. I thank you so much for being here, Pisces. I like this extended. I like the synchronicities. Um, remember, you are a powerful, beautiful being. I want you to stand in your power and your beauty. I want you to realize just how important and beautiful you are. And I'm going to send you lots of love, light, blessings. And please take care of yourself, Pisces. I will see you for tomorrow's reading on Saturday. Take care.